quickly. Uh, I went for a walk on Mullen Creek uh, Trail be between Reynolds Road and Tyndall Tyndall Road. Yes. Uh, Donvale there, and, and you come to the end, and there's the Donvale uh, and Templestowe Horse Club there. And I had this. I just took this photo of the uh, this trough, and I've seen them before. They're the Bills horse troughs that most people have seen when they drive into a country mm -hmm. town, and they're there. And, with flowers in them or something, so uh, fascinating. But um, and that's just a close-up. Donated by Annis and uh, George Bills. Uh, and in those days, we're talking about the um, uh, turn of the century. Uh, most people delivered, you know, ice, bread, milk, even around here, uh, briquettes by horse and cart. And on a hot day, a horse could drink up to 60 litres of. Uh, of um, water, so uh, um, and uh, as roadworks came along, they had to move the troughs, of course. But um, uh, there's a, oh, that's wrong there. But it's about 700 tr uh, these troughs all around, um, mainly in Victoria, um, New South Wales, and there's some a couple overseas actually. Uh, all done by this guy, uh, George Joe Bills, uh, born in England, Brighton. And he came to Australia as a young man and set up a, a wire mattress uh, business with his brothers, a very successful one in Sydney. Uh, and he was a very benevolent guy. He uh, donated a lot of money to various things, made a lot of money out of springs and stuff. Uh, eventually went down to Melbourne. Uh, he married an ice swan, and she was the same, uh, women's live and uh, uh, also animal rights. Uh, George uh, died in the early, he was only uh, 68 I think, 67, 68, uh, he died in 27. His wife uh, went back to England and she died in uh, 1921 I think. And um, uh, he left a lot of money, he left uh, eight, 80,000 pounds in those days. So, and they were to be used uh, for for making these drinking troughs for horses. Um, oh, there's that, he's one. Uh, 1910, sorry. She died pretty early, so. A nice build. And um, under the direction of family, uh, they made about 700 of these in Victoria, in Australia. Um, in the early 1930s, a relative of the Bills uh, became the contractor, and they made uh, first in uh, Hawthorne. And uh, took about 13 pounds. Uh, many, many of you might have seen there was a hand pump on the side. Uh, some of them have that, or one ones just with a pipe. The reason I show that, that's leaning on my shed. And uh, they were made by Rockler. And this was made by Rockler in 1924. And if you turn that around, there was four of these in the borough of Ringwood, at each corner of the Ringwood, of course. They had a, and that's one of their first products. Um, uh, beyond, uh, well, this was one of the, not built in, uh, sorry, that was made in 1924, whereas these were made in the 30s, so we still get the record as one of the first rock products. Um, so this is a, a typical one uh, with a hand pump. Um, production ceased, uh, Second World War, uh, when the materials were scare, scarce, and of course motor cars were out there and they don't drink much water, so. Uh, but they're still around uh, then. Uh, this one's from Q, and some of them have got this horse head, the tie up pole for horses. And uh, they used to manufacture the horse's head based on who won the Melbourne Cup. And uh, there's a hitching post, and it sort of stopped in 1909. But some of the early, early uh, uh, horses, Melbourne Cup uh, winners, were a bit on those hitching posts. Uh, this is one, an overseas one, so uh, a little uh, different <coughs> designation, but um, certainly a, a Bill's trough. Um, if you go up to uh, the RSPCA in Burwood, they've uh, got a centre, rescue centre over there named after him, 1964. This one's just sitting out in the bush here. So. Uh, this was at the um, flower show in Melbourne. 
and um, this is a reproduction one and people just grow flowers in them these days and I photographed this one at Warrandyte today uh, again it's a reproduction one I so reckon I've seen one on the, on, I think it was on the corner of Blackburn Road and High Street Road, is it? Oh, Canterbury. Canterbury. Yeah. Blackburn and Canterbury. Blackburn and Canterbury. Blackburn and Canterbury. Yeah. Yeah. Canterbury. Yeah. Canterbury. Yeah. Canterbury. Yeah. I'm not sure where I saw it, but I, yeah. it's still there, I think. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Alright, that's the end. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah.